everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we're going to take a look at a new plugin from Hornet Plugins, the VHS, Virtual Headphones System. And headphone mixing is becoming so prevalent nowadays. So many people are working either remotely or just don't have treated rooms or want to check bass, which you can't check unless you've got a really full featured monitoring system. And you want to do that on headphones. We kind of lose the cross feed between our ears and some of that room interaction. So there's a lot of software solutions for this, and this happens to be the latest one um, from Hornet, the VHS. What I really like about this plugin is how simple it is compared to some of the others. There's not a lot of options. There's not a lot of sort of tweaking of profiles and things like that. It's basically find your set of headphones, apply the correction to that, and use the room simulation if you want, and decide where you're gonna be in the room in relation to the speakers. Really simple. Let's jump right in and look at how this thing works, starting with which headphone profiles are included. So we've got a lot of the leading brands of headphones on the screen right now that you probably recognize. Many people have AKGs or Biodynamics or Sonys or whatever you happen to be using Sennheisers. They also include, which is really nice, Apple AirPods or EarPods, so you can check on that system. They've even got some different commercial systems like a Bose noise-canceling headphones. Now, one of the main open back headphones I use are the Biodynamic DT880 Pros, and they're not on the list here, which is kind of unfortunate. I do have a pair of Sony closed back headphones that I use sometimes, and that is the MDR7506. Relatively inexpensive headphones, so I'm going to put that profile in right now. And you can automatically see kind of a ghost image of the headphones right there and the correction profile that's being applied. It's really cool, though, that you can see by hovering on the EQ profile plot line where we are and what's being applied. So you can see right down here, if I get the bottom of this cut, it's negative 4.9 dB at 50 hertz. And of course, if I were to choose a different headphone profile, you get a different correction depending on what we're trying to achieve with a flat response here. So I'll go back to these 7506s. The room simulation is really easy. All we do is move this knob to get the speakers closer or farther to us and move this knob to get our position closer or farther from the speakers. And this really just gets your source material to sound like it's interacting in an actual environment. So you might not have these exact Sony headphones, but I encourage you now to put on a pair of closed back headphones, some closed headphones, and let's hear how this thing sounds. First, listen without any headphone correction applied, just the regular mix with this plug-in bypassed. What you want, you gonna get from you. What you want, she's gonna get from you. Now I'm gonna engage the plug-in here. Again, close back headphones if you got them. If you got these Sony MDRs, great, try them. What you want, she gonna get from you. What you want, she's gonna get from you. Some pretty significant correction going on there that you can really hear that bass cut in my headphones that I'm listening on. I'm going to turn off the room simulation. Just listen to the correction profile for the headphones now. What you want, you gonna get from you. What you want, she's gonna get from you. And I'm going to put the room back in. What you want, you gonna get from you. So now as it's playing, I'm going to adjust the speaker's position and the listener position just so we can hear how that interacts with the source material. What you want, you gonna get from you. What you want, she's gonna get from you. What you want, she gonna get from you. What you want? So as you move that listener position knob, you can definitely hear how the room starts to interact with the source material a little bit more. So a lot of you might have Apple earbuds. I'm going to put it on that profile now. We've got the Apple earpods. I'm just going to select that one. If you've got them, pop them in now, and let's hear how the mix sounds on those. What you want, you gonna get from you. What you want, she's gonna get from you. What you want, she's gonna get from you. What you want, she's gonna get from you. 
what you so you get the idea super simple to use i love how you can just set up a quick profile uh, tweak a couple small things in the room simulation and get more of the experience of mixing in a room on a set of monitors than just having that sound directly injected into your ears on the headphones. Compared to some of the other headphone mixing systems out there, this one is extremely inexpensive. So check out the link below. I'll put a link to the uh, Hornets page in there and you can check it out. I think it's like 10 or $11. Uh, there are some very expensive systems out there. The Slate system involves buying the actual headphones along with the software package. That one's kind of expensive. Even like Sonarworks or Sound ID Reference or with Gigahertz Can Opener can be a little bit of an expensive solution. This one is extremely inexpensive and great to use for that. My only suggestion to maybe improve this would be to have some kind of generic profile on here so that if you don't have the exact model of headphones on this list, even though there's a lot of them, that you can just use like a generic close back or a generic open back for some correction. Though on the other hand, you could always, if you wanted to, just turn the headphone correction off and use the room simulation by itself to give you some of that experience of mixing on speakers. So highly recommend it, especially for the price Hornet plugins with the new virtual headphones system. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in that comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next. And I'll see you in the next one.